Guess what time of the month it is? Silkworm feeding video time. Let's go. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatus. If you enjoy videos about specialty pets such as reptiles, amphibians, and different kinds of cool invertebrates, definitely consider subscribing down below and dinging that little notification bell for us so you don't miss any of my future uploads. I do my best to post one or two videos a week, as well as several YouTube shorts. In today's video, friends, we're doing our silkworm feeding video. And why is it that these animals are such good feeders for our pets? Well, they contain one of the highest levels of protein found in any feeder insect. Hoorah! Major protein. Cringe is back. I apologize. And not only this, they contain iron, magnesium, vitamin B groups, calcium, and serapeptase, which is an enzyme that reduces inflammation in the body. What more could I say to make you think that these are good to feed your pets? Not much, I assume. With that all being said, let's get right into the feedings. There are lots of animals around the reptile room, maybe not as many as when it's warm summer season. So bear in mind that very soon the shinosaurus are gonna be awake, the leaf turtles are gonna be awake. They've been kind of absent the last winter season. So anywho, let's get to it. It's gonna be awesome. Still a lot of animals. Hmm, where should we start? I do have a surprise for you guys, but you better stick around till the end of the video if you wanna see it. Cause you're getting a glimpse of the tree monitor build. Cause yeah, they're in it now and if I'm gonna feed them for this video, I guess you're gonna see something about it. Unless I don't add them and then we don't have many animals. All right, well, yeah. Better watch the whole video. lizards we're gonna try feeding here are my red-eyed crocodile skinks one pair sunny and sappy triple notice gracilis oh hello oh, i see you yeah hi hi sappy whoa now sunny's gonna come out of nowhere and want his that's her mate see how he's a wider head big male go ahead awesome okay it is toke time tiki torch see I think Torch is back there. Tiki's probably back there too somewhere. Yeah, she knows. She knows we're gonna feed her. Come on over, Torch. Come on, girl. Come on. What a lovely animal. Beautiful, beautiful gecko. I see you back there. Come on, buddy. Oh, nice catch. Look at your little teeth. You got a silkworm poop on your nose now. All right, buddy, come on. There he is. Look at this boy. Oh, he looks so good. Look at this gecko. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you Tiki. That is a really, really nice animal. So happy he's a healthy boy. Oh, gross, that was nasty. There's Torch, Torch, quick, come on before Tiki comes. Come on, girl. No. <laughs> oh, gross. Here, finish that, can you? There we go, oh, he still missed. There you go. Get it, get it, Ah. Oh. There you go. Nasty. Good boy. Good boy, Tiki. Good boy, buddy. Awesome. Okay, everybody. These are the Tribulinotus novaginia, white eyed crocodile skinks. Oh! Holy, I didn't, I just missed all of that. I don't even know where the silkworm went or if they got it. There's a skink somewhere there. That was, that was craziness. My friends, the jungle is too dense in this area, apparently. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> triple notice Novagenia. All right, guys, now we're gonna go ahead and feed my Anolis Equestris Podior. These are the Blue Beauty Anoles from Cuba. Come on up. Good boy. Oh, that was a squish. This handsome boy is growing up so fast. And he's not too bad for tameness. Come on, bud. Oh, wow. Look at those teeth. Yeah, I haven't forgotten about you, lady. Don't worry. I need to come up with a name. I haven't settled on anything yet. I, I was thinking Rango for this guy. I'm not 100% sure, uh, but 
In any case, you're gonna come for your silkworm. Come on, I know you wanna eat that. She usually runs in really intensely, grabs it and freaks out and runs to the back. Come on. Would you like another one? Come on, good girl. Again, a little bit of freaking out, but <laughs> that's okay. She's still sort of brave. All right guys, listen up. I know it's been an insane wait for that behind me, but here's the thing. I still want there to be a very special big grand reveal. However, today, because I appreciate you guys so much, you're gonna get a little sneak peek where we're gonna see Sabzi and Basil eat in their giant custom seven foot tall naturalistic vivarium. Sabzi's eager, <laughs> let's get started. All right, again, I'm not gonna show you the full enclosure, but we got the classics here, everybody. This is the silkworm ball. Oh, and here comes Sabzi. She's going for it. All right, we're gonna hang this off a branch and let her go look for her silkworm. Go get it. Did you find it? It's in there. Come on. There, it's right there. Get it, get it, get it. You got it. Woohoo! Oh yeah. There we go. She's got some dirt on her lip because she's been digging down below in that forest floor that she can call home now. Again, we're gonna save a lot for later. Well, let me tell you, this lizard is a happy girl. And the amount of space she has, oh, I don't wanna reveal too much. Yeah, Sabzi, aren't you just so happy now? Aren't you? Oh, look at her, everybody. we got here? What's in here? You got it, bud. Woohoo! Good boy. Right on. Okay, I think that's good enough for a sneak peek. All right, time to do some Ceratophrys cornuta which are the Suriname horned frogs. Doo, 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 doo. Got it. Nice job. Next, we have this frog who is cautiously hiding in the leaf litter. Let's see if they'll come out and strike this. Boom, and that's how they do it. Ooh, wow, just when you least expect the attack. Okay, next we have the beautiful avocado. Look at that frog. Would you like a silkworm? Are you even aware that, oh, yes you are. Whoa, you got some dirt there too. Bravo, bro. <laughs> She's big, we can give her one more. They're so small this week. Oh, the other one's still there. <laughs> you see that? In the slow motion, you can almost see it's filling her throat. All right, here is another big Ceratophrys cornuta. Getting close to adult size. See if this animal wants a silkworm. Really nice camouflage. Goop. Gone. I literally changed their waters yesterday. I swear on my life. But I guess that's why we do it because they, they make a little mess, don't they? We got another baby, tiny little guy here. Ready for this? Boom, action. Oh, don't eat the tongues. You got it. Hasta la vista, silkworm. All right, everybody, we're making some good progress in today's feeding video. I think it's the perfect time to offer you today's question of the day. For today's, I'd like to ask you what you think is one of the hardest things about keeping pet reptiles, amphibians, and invertebrates. I'd like to know from you. Pick one, comment down below, and let me know what you think. For me, it's the very specific and unique types of care that some of these animals require. I know that's vague, but you know me. I don't wanna answer everything for you to have nothing left to offer, so I'm gonna assume the position of authority and leave you to it. As always, I'll give your comment a heart. We can engage in a little bit of a conversation. Let's get back to the feedings. 
with some cool frogs down over there on the other side of the room. Phylobates terabilis. Okay, next up we have Phylobates terabilis mint. I just want them to actually come out so you can see them. Little chubsters. Oh, there we go. <laughs> These frogs are too funny, I tell ya. Very, very fun animals to work with. All right, now is the part where we feed the nocturnal reptiles. Holy moly, the lychees are due for a good cleaning in their tank. It does not take long for them to poop all over everything. Let's go ahead now and see if Jabba and the Leela, my female Rhacodactylus lychianus, are interested in enjoying some silkworms. Well, these aren't really the biggest silkworms, but look, it's a silkworm. At least normally she does. What about you, Mr. Jabba? He has a little cut on his head that's healing from a bite from Leela. All right, Jabba, come on. Round two, little man. Oh, we got it. Oh, he dropped it. Get it, buddy, get it, get it, get it, it's falling. And people say these animals belong in the wild. Can I help you? There you go. Silly goose. Leela, I don't know what's up with her. She just doesn't want to eat. Or maybe she's gonna go for the one that's- There's a silkworm down there somewhere, so I'm guessing she's going to get it. Which is fine. Excellent. You gonna go for it, Jabba? He looks like he's interested. Oh my. Yes. There we go, Jabs. Right on, little man. Well, let's move on to some crusty geckos. As always, friends, I want to take a moment to sincerely thank my patrons over on the Patreon platform. Thank you so much, guys, for your support. It means so much to me that you want to take it a step further from your viewership and support the channel by becoming a monetary supporter. With the different tiers, you unlock different types of perks. For as little as $2 a month, you can get a whole skew of them unlocked to you. Whether it's sneak peeks, discounts on merch, a cool little community to communicate with other like-minded followers and animal keepers, as well as exclusive content such as questions that I will respond to, you offer your question, I make an exclusive video, and more. And when you become a paid supporter, you get an in-video shout out in the upcoming videos. So today we're thanking our two newest patron subscribers or members since the last video I did a shout out on. We're thanking Michael, and David. Thank you so much guys for supporting. I really appreciate you. Well, let's get back to the video now. There's lots more to feed. Okay everybody, next up we are going to try and feed lovely Miss Pingu, who's actually right there. Come on over. Hey girl, how you doing? Beautiful, lily white. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, next up is Nona Fire Stripe Crested Gecko. And this girl usually has quite the uh, appetite, you'll see. Ooh, oh! Oh my goodness, I was not expecting that, let alone from her. Ooh, I'm so sorry, silkworm. That is disgusting. Yikes, that is gross. Okay, girl. Enjoy. Okay, here are two female Cynodactylus petrii, and you can see the reason we're filming these ones is because this is the only one I have that likes eating silkworms for some reason. I have tried silkworms many times with these little cuties, and none of them except for this girl likes eating them. Would you like a silkworm? Wait, you're gonna eat it? No way. Are you actually? Are you learning from your sister? No, she's gonna see it more and more. Good job, girl. She loves her silkworms. All right, guys, well. Oh my goodness, sir. What are you doing up there? Are you trying to eat your platform? I just watched him try to eat this bag. Oh, you got it, you got it, you missed. There we go. Yeah, more recently, he started liking to sleep on the, on the barrier there that I used for humidity. I still want half to be open for ventilation, so I haven't done a full top like glass or anything with this species. So that's the tricky thing, but now he likes to climb up the pothos and go rest up there. There we go, the bitter face he makes. What a funny little guy. Would you like another one? Last chance. There you go, yes. Nom nom nom, look at him. Blah blah blah. This guy is so funny. Those big orange gloves. Okay, we'll let him do his thing. 
Well, everybody, there you have it. I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching today's silkworm feeding video. You got to see a little glimpse of the green tree monitor build. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear that in the comments. That video is in the works right now. Oh man, I'm so stoked to give you proper introduction. Receiving it, assembling it, the hiccups that came along the way, the redesign or the thing that um, I'm gonna, you'll see. It's, it's so worthwhile and I appreciate your patience with it. That video is in the works. But we have a lot of other interesting content coming on the way, some builds and more. So stay tuned for that. Thank you again for your support. If you want to see more silkworm feeding videos, check out the playlist up above. Have an awesome weekend. Take care, everybody. Bye.